Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So no jury duty? Uh, I called uh, uh, yeah, every day evening for this week. And so far, um, they didn't arrange anything. And uh, I still need to call. That's why um, I'm here. But um, I'm this uh, the Tuesday, Monday and the Tuesday, um, I'm home. <laughs> and uh, But I was told uh, um, it's probably started at a Thursday or Friday. Um, uh, yeah, so the, um, my, this, um, jury week probably extended to next week. So uh, probably oh. next, next, <laughs> next Tuesday, um, I don't know for my class, probably I need, um, a hundred to, um, I've substituted to the class. So since I'm here today, so I still go, uh, yeah, to class and, uh, um, also, um, Henry is ha have to um, other Zoom class on, on 11, so uh, I, I come here. <laughs> Don't tell me to want see me. <laughs> uh, okay, um, you know, uh, fish is like uh, um, not in the four um, a gentleman's subject matter, but uh, goldfish um, is the a big subject matter. Um, I mean, uh, object matter uh, to the um, the Chinese paint Chinese painting category. As we said, lots of uh, phrase for that. Um, also, uh, lots of um, like even you go to a restaurant, they have like the the fish tank there and the good omen there. And we talk about historically the good story for that. And uh, also, you know, the stroke is very um, good for uh, calligraphy painting, xie yi painting or gongbi painting, very fun. <laughs> so um, we will do that more than more than uh, one times, you know, lots of practice for that. It's fun, I, I, I like it. Okay, uh, we'll learn some uh, more uh, new word though. Let's start. The, oh, also we review uh, some things from uh, last week because some uh, common questions, common uh, problems I found very common. And I need to explain more for the, basically for the, the river one, the how, the character one. Uh, first is the, the hunchback, um, the bottom things. Um, I saw um, Emily's, Emily said the challenge, very challenging. You did very well though, but I don't know why you said uh, very challenging though probably. Um, this joke, the, the On the top is this kind of things, right? And the bottom of things, um, this right and back a little bit, do the slant to the left. Um, these things is hunchback, but try to keep the whole thing like a to the right hunchback and the back to the center. Make the whole thing uh, still stay the center. Yeah, so this stroke, the hunchback stroke, stroke, you know, still need to be very, you know, stable looking, stable looking. Um, 
I, I brought this chart here. So this joke doesn't show on this one, means the hard one. So um, Emily, I agree with you, it's a challenging one. So uh, it's not vertical, not vertical, definitely. And also not this horizontal hard folding and become the vertical hook, not that one either. So it's really like that. So like a start here and the back about the same, uh, like the same vertical, uh, you know, level thing here, but in the middle of them, the process is hunchbacked like a curved things like that. Also, um, see my one, I didn't uh, uh, do very well. Concentrate on the uh, step by step, only see the tree, doesn't um, observe anything about the forest. So my, this one considered the whole thing looks still a little bit weak, right? Can be a little bit like the strong, stronger, make it more balanced. So the bottom one shouldn't be very small, you know, too small, doesn't look very balanced, can be a little bit stronger. Also, um, Another, another thing is, um, I think um, the, at the um, clerical style, clerical style, uh, which means very hard, a hard service and uh, like a stick or knife dust, right? So not like uh, um, the brush dust, a very smooth and very sharp tip. Um, for this one, for this stroke, uh, I said, uh, the way um, other students, I, I don't know, are, are you here? Um, I promised to show you in the class. Uh, clerical style, this um, stroke, do you see that like that? This standard style is still like that. Back stroke a little bit, right? And very stiff. And one stroke, do. Mm. You know, not not lift, kind of the bounce back, or mm, like that, like a slant. No folding here, and the, um, not sharp tip. Instead, a little bit like a bounced back. So put those two. I mean, hook and those vertical curvy things like two stroke, right? Do standard style, we pause here and the lift. Do both of them together, like a one stroke, but to the slant, like a slant to the left. Okay, uh, basically in the clerical style, um, we say, um, very like stiff, uh, dignified looking, right? But try to do like a curvy things, but um, it's different from the, you know, from the standard style press and the lift very sharp tip like that, right? And try to do things curved, but very stiff like the, yeah, that's why I'm doing many times you watch the process here. That's one of the um, characters for the clerical style. Um, generally, we say uh, clerical style, if you can do three strokes, three strokes, and uh, you, it's all done, all done. Which three? You know the flying for the horizontal, right? Sometimes fly, uh, flying, sometimes no flying. The, the, this is the one, right? This is the one. And also short, actually same way to do the vertical, vertical. And the other one uh, was three strokes. The other one is like a slant to the left and to the right, same way, same way to do. Um, first, we didn't learn to do the curve one to do the curve one. We try to do like the same way to do vertical, but very straight, but the different 
um, direction. Okay, like a stick, very, very stiff. You can do this one, right? You can do this one. Okay, now try to make it a curve, but you same way feel like a feel like a, a stick on the sand, not brush on the paper. Try this way instead of uh, instead of straight. Try to do mm, mm, to do this. Yeah, you understand. And in standard style, we do the. Um, to the left, to the uh, down to left for a slant, and the different stroke to down to right to the press. In the standard style, we use a different way to do right, but in the clerical style, we use the same way but different direction to do. Okay, try to do curve, but. Mm. You do like that. <laughs> so left and right, like same way to do. That's what we talk about like a three three strokes, like one here, two here, and the three here. Same same thing to the right. So that's clerical style. So very easy, very easy. Actually, by the way, um, um, do 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 you think in the um? Clerical style. When you write that, um, Emily, actually, I, I I want to ask you. Did you find? I definitely found. Um, um, in the clerical style, it's easier and uh, um, easier to keep the balance, um, to arrange the proportion or everything. Easier to to make it balanced looking than the uh, standard style or walking style. Sometimes, you know, uh, something uh, too small or too long for standard writing. Um, what, what, what do you think, Emily? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because everything's more, more straight up and down. You know, you don't have the things on a slant yes. that you always trying to bring back to, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, I do think it's easier. And I also think the strokes in general are easier. Just, you just have to keep the point of the brush in the center all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, pretty, right, right. Pretty much. Right. And yeah, also, I, I, thought, I mean, for the arrangement of the strokes or the parts, keep it, keep it balanced looking. I personally, I, 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 I don't know why. Even, you know, standard style, we also, we write, um, we require stroke by stroke, right? But it's hard, it's, it's easier um, in the clerical style to make everything look balanced eventually. Yeah, I, I found in your um, homework, homework uh, same way shows. I want you, what, what, what do you feel about that? <laughs> okay, and also the three dots radical, what are radical, what are radical? In the um, like standard style, of course, um, it's very e e easy to do, right? Um, and uh, uh, walking style, um, more connected, and uh, uh, Hui, I want I want to show you um, as well. Um, hard to for me use English to um, to state very clear. Um, so you still even connected. You still you know pre emphasis on the you know three you know three dots places even more connected. But those. Um, like a looks like a brush work in between of the dots can be uh, like the same way or same weight can't be too solid can't be too solid okay see one dot connected but lift your brush some you know and the second dot and the lift somewhere you know somehow and the press and the lift you know you know, at the two places cannot be like that. See, here is 
two, I mean, two solid, two solid in, in between. You need to like at, at least shows like, a, um, you know, at the three dots place, uh, you put emphasis on that. Do not do too strong, like same, same, like same weight there. Do not do that. Cause we have um, other, other, um, other, other things like that. It's the speaking radical, the speaking, speaking radical. So when you do fast, cannot do too solid like this, confused. Okay, uh, that's what, how much I want to um, uh, emphasis on the uh, reviewing things because really need, needed talking about the, um, the hunchback stroke and also um, the uh, clerical style, one of the characters for that. Um, so do, yeah, do this instead of instead in, instead of before we only do like very straight like the like like a vertical things, but the same uh, different direction. But try to do you know, like a, yeah. Do not do not do not swing. Do not do that. That's not clerical style. Yeah. Like the same way, keep the uh, tip centered. Okay, let's move on to today's. Okay. Um, I want to actually um, from the, the 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 fish first, whatever. So standard style. This is from like the um, a seal script and the, you know uh, all the way to this, but still a little bit of picture like uh, like the triangle things on the top for the. Uh, like a fish head looking. <laughs> okay, slant. And this part is like a, the body part. Four dots. So you can think about like the uh, head head part, like a triangle thing, you know, head part. I so I, I talked about this, like an arrow thing, um, in front, and the body part like a squarish thing or a triangle thing. And also um, you can think about this part is the tail, right? And uh, um, walking, running style, some things uh, here, I choose the one, you know, something in between. I always said uh, sometimes too grass looking, too curvy looking, doesn't it really look like the, the characters. You don't have to learn that. And somebody write something in between. Uh -huh. So this is very, um, it's still from this, right? So connect the top part, the head part, like that, and the center part, Actually, the it a little bit a little bit depends for the order. Some people do like that, like a sample do that, and I actually do same way as this way, and then the four dots connected 
you know, but some kind of, as we talk about like four places or at least three places you put emphasis on. So that's why it looks a little bit curved. So you try to do like a four connected, but still like the four dots, um, you, you, you know, you press some things like that. So do not do um, anything weaving with no reason. <laughs> Okay, and uh, I choose the um, clerical uh, style. See, the fish had the first uh, slant one. I talked about um, this uh, again happened. So the big to the uh, the curvy but very um, dignified looking, you know, uh, center uh, tip center stroke very big. Uh, yeah, do not lift. Do not make the sharp end. Okay, and then start a double stroke kind of. This is not clear because it's on stone, but it's same thing, nothing, nothing there. And also the dots more, um, I mean, not ring drop instead of a kind of the tri triangle thing. Not that smooth. That's it. Okay, and uh, um, okay. L l we learned and later we review it. The other word for the uh, picture um, or the drawing or sometimes the chart thing is like that. Uh, see lots of, this is very kind of hard to write. See lo lots of uh, uh, straight things here, lots of mouth, right? So you cannot write the same thing, large and small, and put them together to make it balanced. Very hard. You sometimes, you know, basically try to, um, I mean, depends on your as common aesthetic things <laughs> to, uh, judge, to judge the space, you know, the negative space, uh, balanced or positive strokes play, place are balanced. You cannot uh, appear one, like the negative space too big, too empty. Okay, the large, like the frame first. A little bit like the dynamic things, mm -hmm. not serious the hook. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that, but just your brush. You know the te tendency of going, yeah. And later seal it. Do the center thing. We always do like that, right? So, cause lots of um, mouths here. We do the top one a little bit in you know, a flat, and then. Uh, uh, big horizontal one, but without touching the frame. And then the small slant. And the uh, big mouth, small ma mouth. <laughs> seal it and seal the whole thing. <gasps> Not too bad, but I don't know. See the negative space and the uh, the positive space. Even you do not really remember um, the exactly the characters, but you can you know by your common sense to judge it prettier or uh, not very balanced. You know the space looking on not 
you know, center thing you need to center, not to uh, lean to the left, not to lean to the right, you know, the space part, almost, uh, you know, the balanced looking should be the better. Mm -hmm. But doesn't it have to be the horizontal need to be um, absolute, precise, horizontal. You know, always do a little bit up, a little bit up yeah, to the right. Okay, this is the standard. Um, walking style and the, the um, curvy style actually, um, I mean, uh, cursive style. Uh, I choose the one, something in between. The stroke is very different. You know, the outside things, the big frame stay almost the same. You still can tell, right? Stay the same. Um, but the, but the center thing, center thing changed a lot. Okay, that's to the, uh, ex, uh, I mean, that's, uh, I'll explain the, uh, the center thing uh, first. The center thing become, also did I put the simplified simplified one, uh, the print, print, printing, printing style? Yes, I did. So the printing style, I hope you can see it clear, very small, uh, shows the simplified characters for the, the picture. picture. Um, the simplified character, there are, uh, large percentage of the simplify um, uh, I mean, be before the um, plan uh, uh, started by the government, most percentage, um, big percentage of them, most of them appeared much earlier in the hand master's handwriting, handwriting uh, for walking and the cursive already. That's why, you know, for faster writing, for easier writing, use that already. That's why uh, government later to put, oh, for, um, you know, simple, simple, simplize, uh, simple, uh, yeah, simplize it and for uh, simple style, use that. Mm -hmm. um, so for more clear, uh, I want to show you uh, the printing, printing, printing style for that I wrote there. I, I mean, I put there so you can see clear, but this is not just from the later government's plans. Um, it's appeared long, long ago from the uh, classical writing and uh, for, um, it's typically in the handwriting of the uh, walking style and the cursive style. Okay, so um, the center thing for the picture is become like that. What is that? Actually, this is the, the character for winter. Uh, okay, like the big mouth plus this winter singing. Uh, it's a picture. So <laughs> through the winter to see out uh, like the winter outside, this is the picture. Remember, this is the character for the picture. Okay, and become, uh, that's why it become the, this center thing when it become walking or um, uh, cursive style. So this thing, that, that, connect, and then become uh, 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 connect like a two dots horizontal or some, some people do very horizontal, some people do more vertical. That's how it comes. And they put uh, the frame thing more like the big 12, 
you know, connect to 12 things I always say. So that's how it come from. Okay, that's the, the picture. Um, that's back to the um, clerical style. We say back to the clerical style. We learned clerical style later, but I uh, introduced the clerical style actually is before a standard style, right? <clears throat> before we have paper, <laughs> use paper. So this is really, um, actually not hard to do, the big frame. And the mouth. Uh, this horizontal touched. This actually longer touched. Longer. Uh, we talked about we talked about um, I'm the mouth mouth one. Sometimes <clears throat> people write two verticals, uh, two horizontal like that, it will um, appear at lots of places. This is the case, one of the case. So clerical style for that. <coughs> okay, and then um, I like to, um, review we learned like happy birthday uh, or uh, some things like happy new year. We learned this uh, characters for um, uh, le, right? And also um, means happy. Uh, and also I think I explained uh, with the other meaning of uh, music, music. Uh, in music, we have other um, pronunciation pronunciation for uh, music with uh, same characters. Uh, music we call it. Uh, we sound it, pronounce it as yue yue. So um, yeah, can you? Um, we have lots of this this kind of things, like same characters but different pronunciation and a different meaning. Probably in the meaning of the root, root meaning a little bit, uh, still a little bit uh, like same, same things or some things, some are totally different. Um, okay, the, for the happy is called, um, can you, um, can you uh, read after me? Probably we learned it, yeah. Le, le, yeah. le. Good, good, good. And the, 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 the tone, I put the fourth. So it's so like a down, like a down um, the sound. Le. Le. Yeah. So uh, um, Emily, uh, your name is Yue or Le, Le, right? Yes. Okay. Le, 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 okay. Uh -huh. um, and uh, um, the other for the music is also fourth tone, but totally different pronunciation. Uh, the pronunciation is Yue. Yue. Perfect. <laughs> Kathy, do you know it? Kathy, do you know, do, know, know it? Yue. 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 Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, first, uh, like uh, clo close, flat your uh, mouth, mouth and the tone, and then open it. Yue. <laughs> Yue. 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 Good. Better. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I just, uh, you know, for, for fun to show uh, totally 
no like totally different um, pronunciation. And uh, um, okay, uh, by the way, the the fish is uh, the pronunciation is. Uh, I put that uh, the phonetic system pinyin that and the second tone. Uh, what's that? Is yu. Do it. Yu. 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 Very good. Yu. Yu. Kathy, <laughs> question? <laughs> yeah. So do that again. Let me watch your mouth. I, I, I don't uh, get this one. Uh, uh, I, I know it because um, uh, this Chinese sound is typically um, an uh, English speaking person um, feel hard to do because not, 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 not the way in English you do that. Um, like a close, almost the close, but flat your, um, your, your mouth. And the flat your tone. See. I can't do it because I'm laughing too hard at myself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, do not, do not, do not move. Uh, do not do any move. Just stay there. Just stay, stay there. See. Good. Hey, good, Kathy. You're right, 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 right. Yeah, remember that. Yeah, just do not move. Uh, do not move. Uh, and then the second tone. Second tone. Good, good, good. Okay. I Last find it. Time. I find it easier to do if I think about. There's the same sound in French. I don't know oh, if really? Kathy. Knows I don't know if Kathy knows any French, but it's um, our teacher used to say, you shape your tongue as though you're going to say E, but you close your mouth. So it comes out E. Ah, oh, thank <laughs> you, thank you, thank you. Exactly, exactly, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. right, right. The sound for your tongue, for your tongue and for all, all, all the shape of other thing, it's like e and close your mm -hmm. mouth lips. E <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Emily. <laughs> okay, um, and uh, um, let's move on to the uh, original the, the 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 characters for that because uh, this time we review this one. And also, um, we learned the uh, um, handwriting, and also um, it shows in the simplify the same way to do. Okay, so the standard style starts for the this one. Oh, doesn't it show? The silk silk twist we explained, right? And the center is the uh, the white, the character for white, the color white. And the other twist, so two silk twist thing, um, because I think uh, I showed you uh, the silk twist string for the musical instrument string. That's why come the meaning for the um, music. And also, of course, it's happy and uh, the meaning for happy lu. Excuse <laughs> me. Okay, and I choose uh, the simplify characters I put in the, uh, uh, I mean, the printing style, you can see that. And also actually this is from the um, handwriting um, classical uh, walking style or even the, um, the cursive style. Changed a lot 
but a lot simple, a lot simple. So like the dot on top indicated everything dot here, you know, or with a little bit of direction up. And then like a short vertical, a little bit with the um, direction for that, and then connect with the other horizontal thing, and then vertical hook. Two dots with some direction, beautiful, because it's walking style. Standard style is like that, right? Like that. But walking style or um, grass style, you know, you can do more, more beautiful. <laughs> like a dance already. So happy, happy and the music. And that's look at the, I it back to the clerical style. See this clerical style really shows something, you know, underneath actually is the character for wood. Remember that we learned the forest with the two wood and then a single piece of wood by this, the underneath one. So the string, the silk twist is real like this, you know, silk twist string things. So on the wood, oh, made instrument, cause silk string there, so happy. Uh, do I want other paper? I think I can do here, put them together. <clears throat> okay, so silk twist. Some people do that two triangle like a thing or one diamond shape, but actually they do like that. Connect. You can do two, I mean, two triangle things, no problem, because uh, the seal carving uh, or the uh, clerical style, you can do that, the stroke kind of the different or different order, like the picture you put them together. Flying, go still. That's the look for the uh, the happy. Okay, that's how much I learned for the character for the today. Actually, um, do we still have time? Yes, we have time. Could could you repeat the um the first way that you did the um the twisted silk in the clerical, not the clerical? two trunks. Could you could you repeat that? Mm. Actually, you can do anything like the painting for a clerical style, like a two box here, one diamond, a little bit of diamond shaped or one triangle. You can, you know, you can do like that. <laughs> no problem in clerical style or in real seal, car seal carving, you know. You do like the back order for the strokes with no problem in clerical style. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, for the, we can do some like the strokes for the, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, golden fish. Okay, talk about that. Like in the four gentlemen, we always say um, uh, some uh, some are very xie yi. Uh, xie yi means right meaning, right? And some are um, um, uh, strokes, certain ways we uh, we need to uh, concentrate. Like the uh, orchids, we always do the leaves, concentrate on the leaves, right? The gesture of the leaves, and then not concentrate on the flower because flower is very small. Um, and also like a, a different uh, flower center and the pollen things, but we didn't do the, uh, um, I mean, the details on that, not concentrates on that, only on leaves. And for the golden fish, um, we concentrated like the one, one stroke for the um, tail, for the tail. There are lots of ways to do the body part or different fish, you know, fish are a lot different, like uh, a lot different in between, like a dog. Um, but we concentrate on like the cat for, uh, uh, for the eye or uh, for tail, whatever, I don't know. Um, and for the fish, for the golden fish, um, just to do um, for, My light ink. Golden fish is um, concentrated um, on the tail. Tail, yeah. Uh, tail is beautiful, and uh, three or four tails, um, you know, like a big skirt, you know, like a big skirt to decorative uh, uh, our you know, from other fish uh, and also um, I could determine the direction um, and then, you know, skirt looking uh, things make it like really happy fish things. Okay, uh, still I use that light big brush for the light ink first. Light ink first and uh, I dip in a little bit for the dark ink, for the tip. And I talk about the one stroke is, try just to do, try to do this. Okay. Touch and then gradually press and the lift. Yeah, kind of, you know, press and, you know, even pull a little, pull a little bit or with a little, with a little, a little bit, you know. I think that's all. <laughs> that's all for our practicing for the, um, like a fish, golden fish, you know, then you do different directions and the different, uh, um, different length, you weave more uh, things and change directions and to make the group of them, that's it. But for, especially in the ink painting or later you put a different color uh, gradation for that. See, uh, so light ink and the tip with a little bit of dark ink to do practice for this, that's all. That's the whole thing. <laughs> like we'll concentrate on the um, uh, orchid's leaf. This is the tail, but this is the only stroke you need to learn. If you got this, you got everything later. Not very um, Im uh, Im important. So you can do it different way. And also um, for the whole shape of the, um, golden fish, you know, you can do very simple, uh, like the um, press, you know, for the gradually press, you know, press, 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 like a bigger body part, okay? And then twist a little bit for that, okay, indicated the back, right? The back, the back, like a spine thing. And then uh, 
you can just, uh, you know, tail things and uh, to different direction. Or sometimes when you got, you know, you can add, even add strokes to make it, you know, more vivid looking thing. And then for the head, some, you do not have to add, you just put, you know, I. Lip. You know, belly, you use other color here or just leave, 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 leave it for, you know, some things like that. And the fin, back fin, you don't have to, you can, you don't have to do that, you know, flatten your brush. And the, the I call it, I don't know, I mean, academic name <laughs> for that scientific, I call it the chest thing, you know, more open and the belly, belly things a little bit, you know, close, probably some um, perspective, you only see one. And uh, that's about that. That's about that's, that's the that's the whole fish. Fish thing. Uh -huh. So and then so the basic stroke is try to make different gradation for the tail you know for that for the tail and for um um calligrapher normally just use the same absolute dark ink right so change this a little bit a little bit still use ink um yeah use light ink and the very uh uh very tip use a little bit of you know the dark uh, i mean the dark ink and the try to flat your brush press or even pull a little, a little, a, a little bit to, you know, to do different things. See, this is a fishtail. <laughs> and, uh, you know, even you can, you know, add, add, add some things to make it, you know, oh, it's beautiful already, see, that's the only stroke you need to learn this case. Let's try on the printer paper, <laughs> but same uh, prince, same principles for that, same role to do that. And very easy to do, but very um, express, uh, I'm express too. Uh, still want to do the black one first, and uh, I can do another uh, red one, probably. Um, what first? For the happy fish, you can do it, you know, every... <clears throat> And uh, I want to do um, like you know some fish head are um, like the golden fish. The head is very um, very flat. So for the Xie Yi one, I do not have to do some things really like the 
the head apart, just put them together very short and the, the lip. Um, this fish, I want to do kind of the, you know, toss me so the big, big, you know, the, the, the belly part, if like that, even like that. And the, the dark ink for the lip. And I like that. Mm, I think it's happy fish. <laughs> and then try to do what about the red one? Uh, I prepared some um Cinnabar. Tail first. You can do any and anything, you know, the different order. Okay, other piece of the um, tail thing. And uh, leave some space here, um, I mean, in between the, the tail. Make it more you know, vivid, vivid looking. Okay, very uh, xie yi fish. And uh, you can do some uh, smaller one um, for smaller one, even easier, like the one dot, uh, like a triangle shape to indicate, in, indicate the head. And the, the long, like the bamboo, bamboo leaf things indicated the body part connected with the, like the like Y shape for, other uh, tail things and the uh, fin, fin, lip, eye, you know, some small fish. Black one. Okay, then um, actually I want to do uh, last time I do some the uh, grass like a uh, um, very stiff one um, for um, like a pine or I, I, I said the pineapple uh, pineapple leaves to do that stiff one or a really short short one like that um, and today um, I want to do some things 
forget about this dark ink and a brush. Do some uh, like a um, long swing uh, grass. We learned um, orchid, right? We learned orchid, but in the water, let it swing. Because in the uh, in the water, uh, same way to do the arrangement for that, like the three and the four, four to five strokes. But try how to make it swing. Use opposite way. You know, uh, orchids we do like from the earth and then grow up, right? But try to do that. Do this way, upside down. easier to make it wave looking in the water. You can, you can try. I think it's easier to do, to make it waving looking in the water. I mean, use this upside down way <laughs> to do. Otherwise, it's hard to do this way to make it like an in water wave. Uh -huh. Use this way easier, <laughs> and it's long, very long. I think that's that's enough. I don't want to do. Uh, I mean, too much, too many um, extra extra things to make like snake feet. <laughs> okay, I uh, do the writing for uh, the characters we learned today. Do happy fish, painting happy fish, picture. I think you need to add things. Huh? Oh, the things I didn't do. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Much more balanced looking. You know, once when I when I do the the little the, the little the little fish, um, I didn't put um, I forgot actually I put uh, I forgot to put the uh, the eye and the mouth. Uh, and my friends asked asked me what kind of the fish you painted, <laughs> and uh, I just uh, answer you know for the joke very uh, for me uh, when very close friend, <laughs> um, and I just said one ton. <laughs> it's not open yet. The uh, fish and the mouth. <laughs> I, I forgot that. Okay, look. Two. Yeah, just want to um, show you most the most important things is the the big fin like a fin like a fan like uh, tail.
a little bit not horizontal. Uh, anyway, fish is swimming, fish is moving. And uh, um, I think for the this one, I put probably, you know, two eyes here with black thing. And also, um, you can do things. Sometimes some articles on on their uh, um, body body part, you know, a little bit, a little, a little, a little bit, of, you know, the, the different different things as well. Sometimes things. I don't, you don't have to do that much, and the, you can do a little bit of the red red things, you know, on his belly. Some articles here. It's beautiful, um, the cinnabar and the ink put together. Anyway, my name, uh, which side? My name, my signature. Which side, any suggestions? Well, same. Right? No, I think left again. Left again? <laughs> yeah. yeah because, left, the, uh, because the characters on the other side are on the right. Very good. So um, exactly. So uh, the Chinese Chinese painting, the signature and the, 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 the subject of things, the same things like a, become the part of the picture. Good, good, good. Thank you. Okay, I will do that. Uh, Chinese, Chinese, uh, the lunar air. Xin Chou, we learned already. And my name. And uh, um, I think the uh, summer uh, we can do some like the golden fish um, together with the uh, lotus. Each side touched each corner and then move it. Okay, done. Um, hmm. Again, not very strange. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, that's our uh, uh, practice, always practice and uh, make it perfect. Um, okay, so this time the, 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 the grass, in the grass, I think sometimes I like to make, the, make this, uh, the picture a little bit uh, di diagonal um, balance things to um, divide the you know the whole picture and also some uh, line quality shows in our um, um, calligraphy uh, I mean practice um, also um, this orchid techniques for the combination you know some like the eye eye things for the crossing um, principle and uh, um, how to you know cross it how to cross it and how to leave space like the eye space and the very interesting things um, you know, in your mind from grow from this side but try to make it uh, um, like the moving swimming looking like the fish in the water um, you know do thing do, do things this way easier to um, make it waving uh, in the water looking easier to do this way like in the air uh, from the earth very very uh, it's hard to make it swim this way very easy to do this way 
you know, I always think about the uh, uh, Kathy uh, remind Kathy remind something like the like left hand and the right hand do things like uh, um, Tai Tai Chi. We do lots of things a little bit different from the um, like the push and the pull. You know, a little bit, a little bit different. Some strokes you do like this way to push easier. Some strokes you feel hard to do, you know, the way to pull, you know, like Tai Chi, to pull this way. A different, you know, out towards and the uh, inner towards things, a little bit different. I think this is the this is same for the uh, for the orchids or for um, thing orchids. Sometimes if you do this way easier, and if you write and you do this way a little bit hard. <laughs> Understand? That's why Kathy said, you know, uh, some strokes, you know, for the calligraphy strokes, um, it's always for right, right hand. My left hand a little bit uh, a little bit hard. I, I, I feel that I, I agree for painting. I got that feeling, you know, like for these strokes, in, especially for this way, instead of do right hand do this way, you know, kind of the, you know, the, the pull, pull this way, pull this way. Um, you change it to this way, much, e much easier <laughs> if you want to do this, uh, weave, weave, weaving things, weaving things. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and the next next class, um, I'm thinking do some because I know um, my other orchid is blooming. We try to do some uh, other very common uh, subject matter to the 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 bamboo, the a little bit um, you know bamboo and the orchids together. Uh, suppose orchids is very fragrant and the bamboo is very um, like. Uh, um, uh, straight and the honor <laughs> symbol like things in the Chinese uh, and empty heart. You know, bamboo is like, not like a wood, it's empty inside, empty heart space there. You know, empty heart in Chinese, uh, we call Xuxing, uh, also indicated very gentle and very modest. <laughs> so uh, one of the um, uh, for gentlemen's subject matter. So uh, we, you know, some people said a bamboo is for, uh, orchids is for 10 years practicing and the bamboo is for all life, all, all life, whole life. Uh, looks easy, but you will know, know it, you will know it is very, you know, and anyway, we will do um, probably um, orchids and the bamboo. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will send you some pictures and also from some uh, basic chart uh, example for uh, practicing for the um, uh, mustard seeds uh, menu, the pages for that. Uh, it's fun for that and some characters will, uh, will do on that as well. Okay, um, um, see you next week and uh, uh, hopefully um, I, I will do next week, and if I'm not, uh, yeah, um, I will also uh, do the um, uh, handout, and our plan will go. Um, Henry will do the uh, class for this. Um, of course, he's uh, overqualified <laughs> to do the uh, uh, yeah substitute teacher for uh, my class. So whatever, that's the plan for that and uh, any your um, suggestions let me know and uh, I will find some things like a home farm homework I will review review more um, and uh, bring the point uh, to the class okay uh, see you next week thank happy, you happy painting bye thank you thank bye. you bye. Bye. bye everybody bye